coming right there. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tactical Rifleman. You're not used to seeing me inside often, and that's because we have tornadoes going on outside. So we figured, hmm, what do we do? Let's talk ear pro. Uh, we picked out a few good pairs, right? We're talking over ear, uh, ear pro, and there's a ton to choose from. There's a metric ton to choose from. So we essentially got an assortment of different price ranges and uh, we're gonna discuss some of them. We've been doing a little bit of shooting and all kinds of other fun stuff with them. So we're gonna discuss them and hopefully give you guys a good idea of, um, of what may be a good option for you. Before we do that, let's get a little quick word from our sponsors in. Oh snap, who are you? I'm Captain Riff with Riff C. Mm, sorry, I don't do social media. What if I told you we were social media without all the bullshit? I'll tell you what, middle of a gunfight, I'll give you 30 seconds. Sell me this. Riff C allows users to share a brief headline like commentary on news stories through riffs, where they can shape new discussions and redefine the narrative by holding news sources accountable. All right, that's kind of cool. Uh, tell me more. Riff C is an uncensored space for all to consume, engage, and voice opinions. Everyone, including you, is guaranteed a place. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, more details, more. Sell it. Riff C is a new way to news by presenting news in a fun, interactive manner, making it an enjoyable way to stay informed. Using the Super Boost and our comprehensive scoring system, your opinion is worth more. You define what news is important to you and your community. Riff C brings a lighter, more varied perspective to news consumption by offering a broader scope of news beyond what's breaking. We introduce a wider array of perspectives and stories, providing a space to showcase positive, underrated news stories. That's kind of cool. What do you say we check it out? All right, so here's our deal. So we essentially narrowed it down to five pairs of different price ranges. Uh, so we can kind of have that spectrum for whatever your needs are. This is just a basic idea. There's a lot more good stuff out there. This is what we got. And we have actually some kind of interesting info out of these. So, all right. So the first pair I want to start with is these guys. These are actually, uh, these are passive ear pro. These are made by walkers, right? Very popular brand. And the reason we picked these is because they're like 20 some odd bucks, right? We'll have all the prices below and all that. I'm not gonna quote exact stuff because my memory's not good. But these are literally in the 20 to $30 range and they do the job. So if you're one of those people that is, let's say getting into shooting now and you don't wanna blow all your money on EarPro because, because you're trying to save up for that new Glock, right? Or you're trying to save up for training uh, money, ammo, whatever. This is a good option for you. What it's not going to give you is the ability to hear your natural surroundings, right? But they do reduce the sound very well. You get a good seal around your ear. They're not altogether uncomfortable. They apply good pressure. There's a decent seal. Um, uh, you know, someone like me, I'm never going to wear these. Why? Because I wear ear pro for like 14 hours a day and that's going to drive me up the walls. Plus I'm deaf enough as it is. I need amplification because otherwise I can hear even less than my uh, pea-sized brain allows me to hear anyway. So um, before I put these down, let me say this. Other than the last pair I will discuss, all of these are actually available on Amazon. We're going to have the links down below. You can click on the links and go directly to there if you like it and uh, order yourself a pair or six. So that's that deal. Um, none of these people paid us. This is my honest opinion, okay? Uh, so the walkers are first, they make, by the way, they make a lot of other stuff too, right? They make active ear pro. Ear pro. Um, I don't know, I wanted to show you guys something that's super, super affordable. Uh, good stuff, protection wise, you're gonna get every bit as good protection from these as you will from any others. All right, let's move on. These are the 3M Peltor Sports, okay? Um, I've been seeing a lot of people wearing these around the range lately and I've been curious to try them, so we did. These are in the under $100 category, right? So they're supremely affordable. They are active hearing pro. And there's actually, considering the, you know, the low price bracket they're in, these I've been most impressed with based on your bang for your buck, 
okay, uh, out, out of this spread. Uh, why am I impressed? A, what you're getting in the super high end uh, category typically is incredibly good sound quality. And these actually have really good sound quality. I was, I was surprised by how good the sound was. Um, the second thing that surprised me about these is actually the comfort, right? When you're going in this, you know, under $50 kind of range, they'll be comfortable for you for an hour or two, but not for a whole day. Uh, these I would actually probably wear for a whole day. I would not wear these every day of my life, but they do a good job. Uh, you know, it's a good company. I haven't had these for a year, so I can't tell you about longevity with these, but so far running them on the range for a few days, it's pretty damn good. Sound quality is okay. One of the things I like about these in addition is, so you have your on off dial here, right? So when you roll it all the way up with your finger, it's off and then you get that click for on. Okay, a lot of pairs have that. What I like is A, it's tactile. It's kind of kind of tacky, right? So it's not slippy and you can find it easy. You don't have to sit there and feel around like an idiot for it for six minutes. But that's not it. What I like is you turn them on and as you progress through the volume, it's actually giving you uh, a, an audible note telling you what mode of operation you're in. And I, I kind of like that because because what they're saying is when you shoot them indoors, you're gonna want them on one setting. Uh, and that makes a big difference, right? Because you have a lot of reverberation. And so when you have them on mode one, which is kind of the low end of the volume spectrum, then it's actually cutting off that reverberation more quickly so that you can get more quickly to hearing your surroundings. Pretty cool. I like it. I haven't heard other companies uh, at least market that kind of feature. Cool stuff. Uh, I believe these, uh, I don't believe, these take two AAA batteries, affordable, you can find them anywhere, right? Everybody's got stacks of them in their freezer. Let's move on. Now we're going to the over $100, but under $200 category, right? Uh, there are many options in that category. These are the ones we picked. Uh, these are made by Isotunes, um, the Isotune Sport couple of cool things about these. Let me go with the cons first, okay? And then I'll get into the things I do like about them because there are a few things I do like. What I don't like is that they're not comfortable. They're just not comfortable. Uh, I do get a good seal, right? So it's not like I'm, you know, hearing the, uh, uh, the rifle report or anything. Even indoor, they, you know, they block the sound fine. I believe, just from my experience, that everything we have here will do a good job for you in terms of safety. Um, these are marketed as slim and yeah, cause they're kind of slim. I mean, I've seen much wider, thicker, uglier ones. All right, so after the comfort factor, which as I said, I'm kind of lukewarm on, um, I also feel like they didn't leave a lot of room for your actual ear in there. And so when you're on the range for just a couple hours, no big deal. You just feel a little bit of fuzz right here uh, on the outside of your ear. But if you're on the range for a very long time, then that gets really annoying. And you'll see that that's the same with the expensive ones as well. So it's not like these guys did it wrong. Everybody does. Uh, maybe I have giant ears. I don't know. I can't see myself. The dial, the on off dial is here, right? That's this roller, the big fat roller that looks like a tire. Next to it is another one. Uh, these are Bluetooth enabled. And that's kind of why we chose them is to show that option. A lot of, a lot of in-ear pro nowadays have that option. I've not seen a lot of over-ear ones that have Bluetooth. It's kind of a mixed bag for me because I've, I've had some pairs in the past that have Bluetooth in them. And to be honest, they kind of made me want to kick puppies. Let me explain. I love puppies, by the way. That's why I say that. Um, at first, and I know Carl actually has the same opinion. At first I thought, hey, really cool because I get phone calls all the time, right? The range is my office. My truck is my office. I'm, I'm just, that's how we live our lives. So if I get a phone call, I want to know about it, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can of course listen to music through them. Not that I know why you would do that while you're shooting because you need your situational awareness, but you can do it. Um, for example, if you're sitting on your lawnmower and you want to listen to music, put these suckers on. That's a great use, right? Um, I, I need to break away from just my shooting mindset um, and understand that there's a lot of other practical applications for this. Um, so that's one thing. 
So up top here, this little button here, that's your pairing button, right? Super simple, long press, uh, make sure you have your Bluetooth on your, on, on your phone and uh, it just shows up in your thing. You push the thing and it connects. Awesome. Super simple. Honestly, I don't know why you'd want to be bothered by phone calls while you're on the range. To me, that's a safety hazard. Uh, but okay. You may, you may want to, you may want to sit on your, uh, um, on your zero turn mower and, uh, listen to tunes while you do it or talk on the phone just to test it out. I actually was on the range making phone calls while I was literally shooting just to test it out. And, uh, the people I was talking to on the other side of the phone were saying, Hey, I, I hear you. And the, and the, the sound of the gunfire was, uh, was not too bad on their end. What I will say is the quality of the sound, uh, the ambient sound is, how do I say this nicely? Garbage. So essentially I can have somebody standing here talking to me and it sounds like they're on the opposite side of uh, an airplane hangar. So, you know, if you're looking to save some money and still get active at hearing pro, it's a good option. Uh, as somebody who wears these, like I was saying before for 12, 14 hours a day, never. Okay. Now we're moving into the, uh, into the Gucci category. These you can buy on Amazon. These are the, uh, they used to be the MSA Sordans. Uh, I believe what happened was the companies broke away or whatever from each other. Now Sordan is the company um, and it's the Sordan Supreme Pro X. This is like the fanciest version of these. You don't have to get the fanciest like $300 version because really all you're getting with the Pro is a flashlight on the front here. It's kind of a neat little trick because if I wanna go check my target and I'm doing night shooting, I can just click that on by, uh, by pressing both these buttons long press and it turns on the little led here so I can mark off your misses on your target. Okay. Uh, uh, honestly, I've been wearing, uh, this is the second set of these I've had and that's going to be my, my, my con on these. I don't have a lot of cons, but these I've actually gained literally mm, about five years of experience wearing this set. Uh, this is my second set, right? But this model, um, my big problem with these is my first set died on me because I'm running around on the range doing all that. We shoot in the rain and the internals rusted out and stopped working. Uh, but it did take them about three years on the opposite side of that. The batteries on these last forever, right? These take two double A's and they really last a very long time. Uh, these come from the factory with these gel inserts. This is like a baby's butt around your ear. It's, it's super, super comfortable. And, uh, I, and these are actually available for certain other, uh, pairs of, of hearing pro that you can kind of aftermarket put on. And I really recommend these on whatever, uh, whatever hearing protection you have. So that's one. These are built really tough. Even just feeling the, the plastic or whatever polymer it is that this is molded out of. They are very tough. Um, they look sexy with a camo, blah, you know, I, I'm not as, I, I don't care as much about the look, uh, but they are sexy. Um, you can mount these to your helmet, right? You have to, you have to buy the, the other piece, whatever it's called. There's a headband that goes on under your helmet, or you can actually mount them to the helmet. Uh, like a lot of the cool Gucci guys do. Um, let's see buttons are right here. Middle is on off. Right? You get like a one second press and, uh, and it's on and like a two second press it's off volume up and down. And like I said, you push both of these simultaneously for a few seconds and you get the flashlight in the front. The uh, sound on these is excellent. What is not excellent about it, at least for my deaf ass <laughs> is it's not loud enough. Sometimes oftentimes it's good. Sometimes I wish I had a little more volume, but then again, it could just be a me problem. Um, that's that. Let me tell you another uh, thing I don't like about these. And I'm dwelling on the things I don't like on this because the things I do like are tremendous, right? I, th this is so far the best ear pro I have had. Okay. Uh, until maybe now we'll see. But, uh, so, so that's why I'm giving you guys the downsides to them because, uh, because I think it's, it's important to know, um, you know, when you're making your own decisions. Okay. 
Another thing, just like I said with these uh, ISO tunes, um, I don't feel like there's really that much room in here for my ear. And when I'm wearing these, let's say until lunch break at the beginning of the day, by lunch, it, I feel like I've had a lot of pressure on my ears and that's kind of annoying. So if you guys are listening um, from Sordon, please correct that. I would be forever grateful. Um, as far as comfort, like I said, 100%, right? These gel inserts, awesome. The headband, awesome. Uh, really, these are tremendous. Big downside, when these do shit the bed on you, I've not gotten these guys to pick up the phone for me. So I had to go out and spend another $300 on my next pair. FYI, uh, overall, yes, I recommend them. Cool, now let's get to the fancy new ones. Why did we pick these up? This is the only pair in this little setup we got going that is not available on Amazon. So we'll put the link down here at the bottom. Uh, but these are the new uh, Liberators from Safari Land. Those of you guys who have been watching our channel for a while, you know that when we run our battle belts, we, for the most part, unless Safari Land doesn't make a holster for that particular gun, that's the holsters we run. So we know it's a trusted company for holsters. They now started making these, I believe, about a year ago. Um, when I first saw them, you know, they're the, these are the new Rage. Why? They're kind of pretty damn similar to these, right? Um, and there's a lot of reasons for these to be similar because this design um, by Sordin is excellent, right? So a lot of similar design features. They're pretty slim up top. Why is that important? What I mean is this piece right here, let me try to hold it so you can see it properly. This part right here where it's really slim, right? That's not where the electronics sit. They sit kind of on the bottom, the batteries sit on the bottom. Um, this slim part is the part, depending on what kind of helmet you might be wearing, this is the part that goes under your helmet, right? If you have a high cut helmet, it doesn't matter. But if you have that kind of low cut helmet, that's something you're really interested in knowing, okay? The first thing that struck me about these, even before I put them on uh, in a positive way, it, that they fixed over these Sordans, right? Uh, and that's kind of why I, I've been holding off on saying this. This pisses me off, okay, on the Sordans. Changing batteries. We all know, so th this is the battery compartment. You have to unscrew this lid, okay? Okay, so far, not a bad design because you unscrew it. It may be a little uncomfortable, but what it gives you is good waterproofing. We all like that. Awesome. But check this out. Now, to take the batteries out, here's one. This is the kind of you have to do to get the other battery out, right? What a pain in the ass. In comes Safari Land. Check this out. You ready for this? One, two, there's the batteries, right? That to me is worth its weight in gold. In addition to that, you see how these are two double A's? Uh, this also takes one, one, two, three, A, right? And the benefit of that is a lot of your tactical flashlights, your night vision devices, all that stuff, they run off of one, two, three A's. And so you can have the same batteries for your ear pro as the rest of your gear. I think that's a really good decision um, by these guys. So there we go. Um, this seems to me like it's pretty stout. I don't think I'm gonna break this anytime soon. Uh, but if I do, I'll get back to you guys and say it. Um, one of uh, the same gel inserts as the Sordans, okay? These are very comfortable. Also, same problem with the room for my ear. Again, it could just be my ears. I've never been told I have ginormous ears, but maybe I do. Uh, but after wearing these for a good few hours, it starts to really get annoying here. I can hear the speaker right there. In terms of volume so far, I think they have made these a little bit louder than the Sordans, so I'm glad for that. Uh, what do I not like? I don't like the price, but, uh, you know, you pay for quality. That's just, it is what it is. In my previous experience with Safari Land, they're actually pretty decent at customer support. So if and when something goes wrong with these, hopefully they will, uh, be much easier to get to because Sorden, in their defense, this is a Swedish company. This made in America, right? At least that's what it says right here. Made in the USA. 
So um, my guess is that customer support wise, this should be better. Also sexy colors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can get different mounting systems to mount on your helmet. And I think they're awesome. So guys, that's essentially my opinion of uh, the basic rundown on these five sets of ear pro that we got here. Really none of them are bad, right? They just all fit into their price category. And so uh, you guys got a spread of what you think is appropriate for you. Let us know what you think in the comments section down below and we will see you next week. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.